Hi, uh, welcome back. This is Jeremy, and we're in our Music Theory Fundamentals course. This is going to be Lesson 7, and I'm going to try <laughs> to give you an introduction to scales that hopefully will not confuse you. I uh, just wanted to point you out to these websites over here. www.studymusicfree.com is the main site where I'll be hosting all of my music lessons that I do in the future and the theory.studymusicfree.com is the subdomain that will be specifically um, hosting the uh, theory lessons. So okay let's dive into it. I, wa I wanted to do uh, again touch on the octave and how it's divided. In our last lesson we talked about the whole steps and half steps, how we have an octave, we divide it into 12 equal parts and when we uh, one of those increment, uh, incremental parts is considered to be a half step and two of those are a whole step. So I just wanted to do, to do again, it seems like I've done that a number of times maybe, a review of the octave. Uh, it's one of the most foundational concepts in music and I think if you can understand what's going on with the octave, uh, you'll be able to understand some really fundamental things uh, about, about music. So. Um, the octave is a very special interval, and when I say interval, I'm talking about, you know, if I want to know how far it is from myself to the door across the room, I can measure that interval. I can measure the distance between myself and another object, and, you know, by with inches or miles or kilometers or whatever the case is. Um, in music, we're also interested in the distance between two pitches. So here uh, we have a pitch, and here we have a pitch, and we can measure the distance between the two pitches. And the octave is a very special interval because of what happens at the octave with the partial frequency components of a sound. So remember, um, each sound has many different individual frequency components um, that form the character of the sound. And so as I go up you know, as I have another pitch, and you know, as, as I go up uh, and move away from the initial pitch, then you you know, th the individual frequency components of these two sounds don't necessarily line up this way. Uh, okay, well, the the octave is the distance or the interval at which um, the pitch. Uh, lines up with uh, the fundamental uh, frequency of this of the pitch lines up with one of the partial frequencies of, of this other sound and then all of the corresponding harmonics or partial frequencies of these two sounds line up exactly there's a one-to-one -one correspondence between uh, the, the frequency components that make up this sound and this sound. So the octave is a very unique interval because of what happens at the octave. The frequency components of this sound then line up exactly with the, the remaining frequency components of this sound. So that's the octave. And in Western music we divide the octave into 12 equal parts. Uh, other cult musical cultures have divided it into different uh, numbers of parts, but we divide it into 12 equal parts, and one of those, that, that, that gives us 12 distinct pitches, um, discrete pitches from this pitch continuum. And, you know, moving by one of those increments is a half step, and two of those increments make a whole step. And that's what we talked about uh, in, our, in our last lesson. So, why is this important to scales? Well, in Western music we have the 12 um, what are called chromatic pitches, chromatic pitches, that's a T and that's an I, the 12 chromatic pitches, and, and, and most Western music takes a subset of those 12 pitches and creates different groupings, and those groupings are what we call scales. Uh, the most common scales in Western music, um, so the chromatic 12 pitches, the 12 chromatic pitches, the most um, 
common scales in Western music are diatonic scales. And of the diatonic scales that are two that are of particular importance, and we have called we call the these scale uh, scales the major scale and the minor scale. And you can play these scales by starting at any pitch and then following this pattern of whole steps and half steps. So the capital W uh, stands for a whole step and the lowercase h stands for a half step. So if we go to the keyboard and we start at the, uh, the C key on the keyboard, and if we go up the keyboard, remember from C to C is an octave, so we have 12 keys in between. If we go up the keyboard by this pattern of whole steps and half steps, we'll play uh, the major scale. And so uh, let's do that now. And I'm going to try to play along on a little keyboard I have here. Uh, so if I started this C, and I go up a whole step, uh, let's let me draw that up here, go up a whole step, then I go up another whole step, then I go up a half step, then a whole step, whole step, whole step, and then a half step. Okay, so that's whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Now remember, this is a whole step because I'm skipping over this black key and I go from this white key to this white key. So that's two half steps or a whole step. So by Following that pattern of whole steps and half steps, I was able to play this, the major scale. And here it is again. Okay? And the way we label the, that scale is we would call that a C major scale. And that's because we started um, on the, uh, the C key. Okay? So uh, we can also play the minor scale. So if I start at that exact, this exact same C right here, and I follow this pattern of whole steps and half steps, I'll play a different type of scale. I'll play a minor scale. So let's do that. So here's my C, and then here's the D, whole step. I need to do a half step now, then a whole step then a whole step, then a half step, then a whole step, then a half step, I mean a whole step. Okay? So the pattern of the minor scale is whole step, then half step, then whole step, then whole step, then half step, then whole step, and then whole step. Okay, so by following that pattern, I can play a minor scale. So let me play that again so you can hear it. Played that wrong, let me play that again, sorry. So here's our C, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, Half step, half step, I mean, sorry, whole step, whole step, right there. The last two were whole steps. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so there I played the C minor scale. Oops, my pen's going funky there. Sorry about that. C minor scale. Okay, so... Um, those are the two most common scales in music, and hopefully that gave you a good foundation for what uh, a scale is and how they are constructed in, at least a few of them are constructed in Western music. All right, well, thanks again.